Columbus police and city leaders, they talked today about the rise in homicides in the city. They held a press conference. This came after a WCBI story Tuesday on the subject. Our Jory Talley has more on their comments. We are out there and that we do care. It affects me uh, very much so. I have young sons that are here in Columbus and this going on in this city is just uh, upsets me very much so being in law enforcement and not being able to do anything about it. Off the top, Police Chief Oscar Lewis confirms there have been eight homicides in the city this year and he takes every one of them personally. The city and the police department held the press conference to discuss the homicides and to address concerns about safety within the community. Putting their fears to rest comes with the community getting involved, taking back their neighborhoods, letting us help you do that, uh, letting us lead the fight, you get it behind us, we'll push forward, we'll deal with these bad guys, with the, the bad elements in the community, but we've got to have you behind us. Out of the eight homicides, four remain unsolved, including one from October where a man was found shot to death in his home. When we're talking about pending investigations, just because the arrest has not been made doesn't mean that we don't have suspects, we don't have people that we're looking at, we don't have information uh, coming forward. Uh, just as we talked about earlier, informant information, Crime Stopper information, all that stuff is assessed, all that stuff is put together. Chief Lewis says they're still trying to piece together individual cases and working to determine if there are any connections among any of them. But he did say this. I really don't think it, it, it's gang. I think people are running together, running in these circles and associated together. But as far as just saying that they're gangs, uh, I mean, I, I really hadn't seen that. Mayor Robert Smith says city leaders are as concerned as the citizens are about the violent crimes, and it's going to take the community and police working together in order to solve and stop the crimes. The citizens can say that uh, is uh, weak leadership uh, uh, from the police department standpoint, the police department not doing what they're supposed to do, but the uh, officers, the chief, and uh, the patrolmen within the police department not committing the crime, the elected officials not committing the crime, and that uh, it's going to take the parents out there stepping up to the plate. All right, Jory, thank you for that. They're going to be talking about hiring six new officers at the next city council meeting.